hi guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today i thought i'd do just a really nice chatty get ready with me um i'm just going to be doing my makeup and talking through what i'm doing but also just telling you what's been going on and all these lovely things um or as lovely as i can keep it with everything that's been going on so um yeah this was like a requested video i had a couple of comments on some previous videos asking to do a new makeup routine um i recently well probably a couple of months ago now did a makeup routine or i like went through my makeup products on my uh igtv so if you haven't seen that you can go watch that as well but I will probably be using a lot of the same products that were mentioned in that video because I'm not the kind of person that changes my uh, makeup routine up very often and also I just don't, I'm not very adventurous when it comes to makeup, like I just want to sort of enhance what I've got or just like cover up a couple of blemishes, I try not to ever go too much. Um, Obviously for some people that looks incredible and if you have the skills to do that then you're so lucky but I'm not that skilled so I just sort of keep it simple. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would quickly run you through what I use and have a little catch up while we're here. So, firstly I hope you're all well and very safe. Um, I hope you're doing okay through this tricky time that we're going through. I feel like that's literally all I've heard recently but... It, I feel like it still needs to be said because obviously everything's changing so quickly these days um, and one day you're absolutely fine and you feel like you're getting used to the new normal and then the next day it all comes crashing down and I definitely feel like I've been going through a lot of extreme emotions at the moment so um, I hope that you're all okay. So first product that I'm going to be using is the Glossier Priming Moisturiser. Um, this retails for £18 and I'm going to be completely honest, I don't think it's worth the money but I do really like the product. Um, I probably won't be repurchasing it just because I think £18 is like too much for what it is. Um, it's basically just a really nice moisturiser but while I've got you I will just, oh, I was not prepared, um, tell you about Tesco's own moisturiser, um, which is £1.50, £1.50 for, how much is in here, 50 mils? So the Glossier one is 50 mils and this is 75 mils and it's £18, £1.50. And I kid you not, the consistency is really similar to the Glossier one. This has chamomile and rose hip for sensitive skin. It's fragrance free, so it's, there's no sensitivity there. It's got pro vitamin B5. That sounds like something that my skin would like. I don't really know what that does, but throw it in there. Um, and it's all been dermatologically tested and everything, and it says for sensitive skin. So this is from their Kind and Pure range at Tesco. I literally have fallen in love with this moisturiser. I just bought it on a bit of a whim. I'd run out of moisturiser. Um, TK Maxx had closed down, which is where I normally... Ju I just pick, like, a moisturiser that looks good in TK Maxx because you can get, like, a higher-end one for cheaper there. Um, so that's normally what I do. Um, but I just picked up Tesco's own just because I was like, I need something. And I'm in love with it. So I highly recommend this. And I use this every morning and every night. But this is what I use if I'm going to be putting makeup on. Because I just find that my makeup sits really well on this. Probably because a lot of my products are from Glossier. I think they just work well together. So I'll use this today. I have already used the Tesco one um, earlier this morning. But it is 25 past 11 now. And I'm only just doing my makeup because... I wrote a blog post this morning and I like to do that with no makeup on for some reason. So I always just put a little bit on the back of my hand and then dab it on. So while I'm doing this, what has everybody been watching on Netflix? I hear that this, what is it called? Tiger King? Is that is that what it's called? Everyone's raving about that. I am yet to watch it. Um, I'm really, really bad at sitting down and starting like a series it gives me like this fear i literally i'm so bad at like firstly i'm bad at sitting down and just stopping because um 
I just feel like there's things that I should be doing rather than that. Um, I always make myself feel really guilty about doing it, which is something I am working on. It might sound silly, but I just always feel... I sit there and I'm like antsy because I should be doing something. So it takes me a lot to <laughs> sit down and actually relax. Um, unless it's the evening because then I've normally done everything that, on my to-do list sort of thing. But yeah, everyone's talking about Tiger King. So I might have to give that a little watch. Um, what, what have I been watching? Oh, I tell you what I have been watching is The Fall, which came out years ago. And I actually watched it with my mum when it came out on and off. Um... But yeah, I've been re-watching that and that's been fantastic with, uh, what's her name, Gillian Anderson and Jamie Dornan. Um, and absolutely been loving that. This concealer is by e.l.f. and it's their Flawless Concealer and I'm in the shade. Light sand. That's nice, isn't it? Um, yeah, really, really like this uh, concealer. Not bleh, concealer. Um... Uh, I can't remember how much it was, but it was pretty affordable. I think, like, I want to say, like, a fiver, maybe? Maybe even cheaper. Um, and it's cruelty-free as well, and vegan, so that's great. Um, but yeah, I've been enjoying watching The Fall. Although, I have to say, season three, I have kind of lost, um, interest in it a little bit. It just got a little bit slow. And also, I think, because I did watch it a few years, like, when it came out with my mum, I do know how it ends, so I've kind of just lost the reason to watch it sort of thing but i have been enjoying that oh my gosh let's talk about drag race season 12 it's season 12 isn't it yeah i think so um absolutely loving drag race this season i loved the uk one i thought it was fantastic um but this is season 12 of the us one um i'm just going to put a little bit more moisturizer around my nose because that's where i get my eczema Although it has calmed down a lot. It came up really bad because I was stressed the other week. But it's calmed down a bit now. Um, yeah, absolutely loving Drag Race. My favourite is Gigi Good. I am obsessed with her. I think she's incredible. Um, she's like everything you want in a drag queen. She's like got personality. But her styling and her fashion is just second to none i think she's like way ahead of the game on that um and there's a new episode out today so i literally can't wait to watch that later once i've done all my jobs for today so that's something to look forward to um uh, who don't who am i not a big fan of probably probably aiden i just feel like aiden isn't taking it as seriously um i always feel bad saying that because obviously they're there because they want to win but i just feel like She's not really taking it seriously in the sense that she doesn't seem to try very hard. Um, and she just seems to be very okay with just being safe. Like, she doesn't really push the boundaries or anything. Um, I don't, I'm not that keen on Britta. I feel like a lot of people do like Britta, but she's kind of annoying me. Um, I don't think her designs or her fashion or her walk, walk, ways are that great either um it's all about gg good for me to be honest i do like jackie cox i think she's wonderful she's so so cool and obviously i really like sherry pie but they keep showing that thing at the beginning about um lucy did tell me but i can't remember exactly what it was like sherry pie got disqualified for some reason um so she's not gonna she's they're still showing the series but she's basically not in the running to win um even though she's doing very well which is annoying um so yeah i did like sherry pie but obviously she's i can't remember what it was she did but she did something that's got her disqualified so i definitely say my favorite is gg good i just think she is an all-rounder she's stunning her makeup's incredible her clothes are incredible um her personality is just brilliant her acting's great um all of the above everything you need to be a fantastic drag queen so the d foundation i'm using is the dior forever skin glow so i used to use the forever foundation ages ago but i didn't always get on with it i found it quite drying um and now they've come out with the skin oh, i literally can't talk today i think i had two coffees and it's just set me over the edge so now they've come out with the skin glow version which is so 
good i literally love this foundation it's very sheer if you like full coverage you might use, need to use a bit more um it's supposed to be very natural looking very glowy which is all my favorite things when it comes to makeup so it looks like i'm put i've actually only used half a pump on my hand because it pumps out quite a lot um and i i just don't want a lot on um and it may look like i'm putting loads of dots all over my face and it's going to be really thick but it's not at all this foundation blends out so seamlessly and super sheer so it kind of does everything that i want it to do like it just color corrects basically um but you can still see my freckles through it um which i love because i love my freckles um i used to not like them when i was in school because people found it amusing to bring them up <laughs> and to say like that they weren't cool and stuff but I love my freckles now and they are always on my face even when it's not summer even when it's not sunny I've always got freckles so I've learned to love them so this foundation just sort of lets them shine through still which I like um because like I always mention I like to keep my makeup as natural as possible I don't want to look too done up I don't know why that is I just mainly because it's easier to do my makeup if I'm not putting a lot on also it doesn't take as long you're getting wonderful angles of me without my fringe here I actually have like I used to not have a fringe so I have no nothing against my forehead or anything but once you do get a fringe when you pull it away you're like what happened um but yeah love this foundation so that's it all blended in and you can just see i'm hoping the camera will pick this up is that better um you can just see it's really natural um and it just sort of color corrects my super rosy cheeks <laughs> so yeah love this so that's nice and easy what else have i been up to i've been super productive i feel like that's like the only bloody word i'm using at the moment um i just put a blog post up this morning actually which will be up by the time you see this about how i use productivity to distract myself a lot of the time which um is a good thing because you could use a lot worse things to distract yourself from reality but also i feel like i need to get better at um actually dealing with things <laughs> and not just constantly distracting myself from what's going on and then wondering why it just hits me all at once um the blush that i'm using is the glossier cloud paint in beam i just put a little bit of that on because my cheeks are rosy enough don't need a lot um and then i just go over it with a beauty blender to blend that in but yeah i have been super productive and it feels really good because i'm a little virgo and we just love to get our to-do list done um so that feels great but i also need to just be wary that i'm not overdoing it because i feel like this week i overdid it and then i like crashed really bad on thursday um but thursday was a lovely day despite my head being all over the place because it was sophie's birthday so we celebrated that with um a sophie themed pub quiz um which was wonderful with all our friends over zoom or it was on facebook chat but you know same thing um over a video call so that was lovely um what else have i been watching i feel like there's something else i was going to tell you about drag race kardashians there's a new season of kardashians and i've managed to get sophie addicted to it finally my mission in life is now complete and i can die happy because sophie now loves kardashians with me um yeah season 18 there's two episodes out now i've got hey you which is what i watch it on uh literally obsessed always have been um i just love that show because it's just like pure trash and i feel like in times like this we just need a little bit of pure trash to watch sometimes it's okay we can we can get by if we've got trashy tv to watch i feel um the highlight i just used was the dior i want to call it the nude air is that right Dior Skin Nude Luminizer in O2. Really, really nice. Oops, very, very subtle. Um, and then the brush I used for it was the Baking Contour Brush by B Beauty. 
I just use the fan bit and put it all over my face. So let's move on to brows. Um, yeah, loving Kardashians at the moment. So funny that show. It's just wild. Um, what else? I have watched any movies recently. Has anybody? Oh, loads of people have got Disney Plus, haven't they? I'm still yet to get it. I'm just using the Glossier Brow Flick in brown, I believe. Yeah, brown. Um, just to add a few extra hairs in to my already thick eyebrows. Um, you can see the difference there. It's a very good product. Um, yeah, everyone's got Disney Plus. I'm yet to get it, but me and Sophie think that we probably will get it because you can get like a seven day free trial. Oh, that was a bit harsh. Um, yeah, you can get like a seven day free trial. So we might just give that a go and then cancel it and just enjoy it for seven days. But if we really like it, then we might keep it. Um, but financially, I probably should not be spending five pounds a month on Disney stuff right now because money is, um, <laughs> non-existent <laughs> to say the least. So yeah. Um, but yeah, that might be something I get into. I know my friend Lucy is addicted. It's all she's been watching, bless her. She loves Disney. So um, I'm glad that she's keeping happy through watching that. Um, there's so many things that I did not know were owned by Disney on that as well. Like National Geographic shows are on there or something. But I don't know if they've just sort of paid to have that on there or whether Disney already owned them. I was very confused. But yeah. That sounds like something I would be up for having. And then I just use the Glossier Boy Brow, classic product, wouldn't be without it, in brown as well. And my brows are already quite um, wild, but I just sort of make them a little bit wilder. Um, what do I do next? I literally haven't done my makeup in like weeks. This is brand new to me. Um, I normally then just go over my eyelids with a clean brush nothing on it and just make sure that that's all um matted down so it doesn't get like the creases in it um and then the mascara i'm going to use is the glossier lash slick in i think this just comes in black i don't think they do other colors yet um and then we're nearly done this is literally like my all i put on but yeah what else was i going to talk about oh yeah animal crossing i don't have it i need it immediately I used to be obsessed with Animal Crossing when it first came out on DS. I was literally, I've never been so addicted to anything in my life apart from Animal Crossing and Professor Layton. Like those two things, I could not put that DS down. Um, I'm very, very jealous of people with the New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch. I also now desperately want a Nintendo Switch. Not even just for Animal Crossing, I just need one because um, they look like fun. And I have played one before, um, an old friend of mine had one and we used to play, I think it was Mario Party at his house and it was so much fun. Um, I really, really enjoyed doing that. But I was like, oh, I don't need one myself. And then they released Animal Crossing, so I do need it now. Um, oh, and New Sims came out. The New Sims 4 download came out, very exciting. Again, yet to get it, because like I previously mentioned, I'm one of those people that just can't sit down. Um, and I feel like as much as I used to also be addicted to Sims and play it for hours and hours, I just cannot, I just don't have the time. Or well, I do have the time, obviously now I do have the time, but I'm actually still going to my job still, um, because... I was supposed to start my new job Monday in digital marketing. I was very excited for it. I worked very hard to get that job and unfortunately it's obviously been postponed. The role is still there for me when all this is over. Um, they, luckily they still want to hire me but obviously they are all working from home at the moment and it would be very hard to start a new job working from home without the team because it's quite a team-based job. Um... 
so yeah that's been put on hold so i'm still at my nannying job and the well, the mother of the family that i work for is a doctor so she's still having to go into work um which means i still have to go into work and technically i think i come under the key workers list as a child carer anyway so i would probably still have to go either way um so yeah i'm lucky that i've still got that but obviously i feel like my life at the moment there was i was going down this road and it broke off and i've carried on going but i need to be on this one and this is the one where i start my new job and my new life and i'm i'm going somewhere over here and i don't quite know where the destination is um that's kind of my uh thoughts at the moment which is unsettling to say the least um i'm just gonna put some lip balm on this is just our kets own lip balm i think i just picked this up one day um because i normally use my glossierbalm.com in the coconut flavor but i think the day i got this i was in london and i like forgot to put my lip balm in my bag so i, I had to get an emergency lip balm because i literally cannot be without lip balm um but yeah i think that's my makeup done guys was that boring probably um i haven't really i just that that's like a full face for me but i feel like that's okay you can just put on as much as you like can't you um if i was going out to like a party or something i'd probably put a bit of eyeshadow on my fa my favorite eyeshadow is urban decay high from the from naked naked 2 palette maybe is it the naked 2 palette or the naked smoky palette either way um the shade high is my favorite um, and i normally just put like a wash of that over the lid i really want to try those glossier are they called sky washes i literally don't remember anything like i have forgotten how to talk <laughs> like, i've been in isolation so long i don't even know how to talk anymore um yeah i think they're called the glossier sky washes and they just look like lovely eyeshadows to use so i really would like to get some of those but probably won't be getting them now um because i need to save money and not spend it on eyeshadows when i'm not really going anywhere but it would be nice wouldn't it we can all we can all dream um but yeah guys i think that's really it um i hope you enjoyed this little catch up i just wanted to keep it really easy i know a lot of you were saying like just keep it normal on your youtube and stuff um so that's what i've been trying to do i've got the rest of the day i've got planned um i'm going to in a 20 minutes i've got a video chat with my friend emily who's emily becker on instagram she's a photographer who i've shot with before um some of her photos that she took of me are featured on my blog so go check that out i also shoot with stacy as you know um but yeah me and emily are going to do a video chat and we're actually going to try and do like a shoot over webcam um We'll see how that goes but yeah it sounds complicated but actually i'm hoping it will come out really really well um i've seen some people try and do it and it's come out really nicely so we're hoping that that will work um i might have to trim my fringe in a couple of days that'll be fun um yeah so that's that's the plan next up and then after i've done that with emily i'm going to film for you guys a outfits video um which i know sounds funny because pro we're probably not getting dressed a lot at the moment um but i know some people really want some ideas for like easy to wear indoor outfits or just you know going for your walk once a day outfits and i'm just trying to keep some normality i still want to talk about clothes i really miss shopping um and stuff like that i'm just trying to keep it somewhat positive even though some of us are not feeling that positive at the moment i know this week's been tough for me um i'm sure i know i'm not the only person that's finding it difficult um i feel like i spent the first week well the first week and a half to two weeks i really tried to stay positive after i found out everything with my job had changed like i had a massive cry and then i was like no we're going to be positive about it um but that can't last and it's not realistic to expect to not have ups and downs through times like this so i just want everyone to know that it's okay we will be all right we will get through this um 
I know there are people in way worse situations than me and my thoughts with all of you um, and my comment section is always open if you need to have a chat so go down there let's all talk to each other um, and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I'm gonna sign it off here but I just wanted to do something nice and easy easy breezy um, and hopefully it's cheered you up a little bit do go and head over to rayofstyle.co.uk where you can read some of the posts that I've been putting up lately um, and also my Instagram at rayofstyle underscore um, where you can follow more photos of my outfits and what I'm getting up to. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Stay safe, stay indoors, wash your hands, all that stuff um, and let's get through this together. Love you guys so much. Bye.